overflows. Transformation begins when doubts are cleared. Remember, one question creates one answer and many questions mushroom out of that one answer. And this process continues. The doubting mind is the problem. Therefore, the seeker in Devi says, Do not be concerned with my questions. I have asked so many things. What is your reality? What is this wonderful universe? What constitutes seeds? Who centers the universal wheel? What is life beyond life? How can one enter it fully ever time and space? But do not be concerned with my questions. The awakened one gives a technique. It may be breathing. It may be something else. And through that, you and as you enter into that technique, your doubts are cleared because you get a clear vision of what it is. By changing the breathing patterns, by focusing on a particular part as far as breathing is concerned, many doubts are cleared. Let my doubts be cleared, Devi tells Shiva. I ask these questions because they are in my mind. I ask them just, just to show you the state of my mind. But do not pay much attention to them. Really, answers will not fulfill my need. My need is, let my doubts be cleared. The way Nivedita, the author, approached her master is quite unique. Indeed, this ref reflects the way Devi has approached Shiva, who is her concert. However, in Vigyan Bhairav Tantra, Devi approaches Shiva as her master, the awakened one. Unlike other seekers, Nivedita did not ask for any answer to gain knowledge or strengthen her ego or anything else. Her emphasis was to have the doubts cleared. She was clear that for transformation, doubts need to be cleared. She was clear that by gaining knowledge, transformation cannot happen. Though the questions that she asks, she has really exposed the inner state of her mind and thus the chaos and conflict arising out of that. Though her doubts assumed the form of questions, but she was not seeking answers. Instead, her focus was on transformation. Nothing really, the answers or knowledge or anything else was meaningful for her then. She was aspiring for transformation alone. And those doubts lurking behind her mind assumed the form of questions because it was there and later these questions became the subject matter of life, love and light. When the awakened one listens to the questions, he becomes aware of the blockages within and he works on clearing 
those blockages but how can the doubts be cleared with will any answer do is there any answer which will clear your doubts indeed mind is the doubt it is not that mind doubts instead mind is the doubt unless the mind dissolves doubts cannot be cleared and unless the doubting mind dissolves the process of transformation cannot begin rarely one approaches this way with focus on clearing the doubts and one who approaches this way communion with such a person gives birth to something beyond the mind such is the tantra approach to transformation you have to understand the relation between doubt and question questions are the big stones along the path of the free flow questions can arise for various reasons ego to gain knowledge to confirm your view point etc no answer can solve the problem unless the question arises to initiate the process of transformation and no one really asks questions for transformation mind can dissolve only one way and the way is to neutralize the energy one has to work at different layers of energy within first step requires filtering of the existing energy activate the process of generation of the energy within its distribution its conservation first and lastly distribution of the energy within the entire system this requires readiness trust and surrender on the part of the seeker when questions do not arise doubt remains doubts are not questions questions are blockages and doubts are like haze or fog on a cold winter morning and because of this fog one cannot see far ahead fog blurs the vision fog blurs the vision as you want to move forward devi has really no question instead her vision is fogged therefore she asks shiva do not pay attention to my questions these are doubts that have fogged my vision therefore clear my doubts both question and doubts arise in the mind mind is the medium for light of awakening to shine once the doubts are cleared each question has a relevance but relevance of each question differs significantly it is important to know why does questions arise as i said each question has relevance questions are like symptoms of inner disease each each symptom and several systems several such moments such symptoms clarify the state of the inner disease it is important to know why does questions arise to clear doubts or gain knowledge or strengthen ego etc as a result when questions are to clear doubts 
mind dissolves and transformation begins. Unless mind dissolves, doubts cannot be cleared. And unless the doubts, unless the doubting mind dissolves, the process of transformation cannot begin. Rarely one approaches this way with focus on clearing the doubts. Indeed, one who approaches this way, communion with such a person gives birth to something beyond mind. Such is Tantra approach to transformation. While watching the changing world outside and the movement of thoughts and emotions within, you become aware of a presence that does not change. It is impossible to define what this is in words. At the same time, you do not know that it is always the same presence. And when it comes, it is everywhere and nowhere at once. Also, nothing that you are thinking or feeling can connect with it. It feels so. Still, it does not exist and it is so subtle that it, at times it is so difficult to bear. I remember encountering this presence first as a child. Am I rediscovering my lost innocence? Such a state arises with one who is on the path. Such is the situation of one in whom the process of transformation has begun. When such a state arrives, you are rediscovering your lost innocence. Religion is a rediscovery. It is something that we had known, that we had lived, but we had left far behind. So far behind that it seems almost as if it, it was not a reality, but only a dream seen, just a faint memory or a far away echo. But if you become meditative, that echo starts coming closer and closer. The dream starts changing into reality and the forgotten language of innocence is suddenly remembered. Hence, it is not a discovery. Instead, it is a rediscovery. This was the, this was the remembrance of the dream wherein you mentioned dancing like a little child around the master. Many seekers feel things like these. This was the remembrance of the dream wherein you mentioned dancing like a little child around the master. Many situations like these happen with seekers along the path. Enough for now.